Hi everybody, I'm Chloe Quinn and welcome to my channel. Um, I am actually going to do today something very interesting and special, um, but I'll tell you after my intro. Everybody, this just in. Chloe Quinn is now recording a new video. How's it gonna be? What's the drama gonna happen? So I just made a lasagna for dinner. It's for early in the morning. Um, normally I don't uh, look all glamorous and tell you uh, right now I'm kinda like in my uh, my yummy here. What are you guys looking for? You looking for some yum? Hi everybody, welcome back. Again, I'm Chloe Quinn, I am a romance author, and a while back, uh, a really good friend of mine, actually my sister, who is also, also a fellow author, Lexi Miles, uh, she actually asked me about doing an author uh, tag. So anyways, I did a piece of it already, um, but I'm gonna do a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what inspires me. I actually have done a couple of pieces of this uh, video here and there on different things, but I thought I'd actually do it actually part of an author tag. So uh, again, I'm a romance author, just to catch you up. Um, I actually do like other pieces of uh, other things uh, in this genre of uh, romance. I do tend to have sub genres such as uh, suspense, uh, science fiction, um, fantasy, erotica, um, and just sweet things, uh, kind of sounds funny going from erotica to sweet, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so that basically is, uh, a brief overview of my work and what I do, um, but this one is just gonna be not too long, just a little brief thing about how I get my inspiration and what inspires me, um, and who inspires me, um, Basically, a lot of my inspirations come from things that I see. Um, so I've talked about that several times, but it's basically from things I see. Uh, and then I want to know more about it, so I go into it and I discover what it's about. But meanwhile, as I'm discovering it, I tend to write my own stories. So to, <laughs> to um, you know, uh, that's how I kind of get my stories, you know. I, I was like, oh, you know, even though I might find out how the story really goes, I still like to make up what I like to make up. And again, this is the way my brain works because, again, I'm, well, I'm a writer. So that's that's where my curiosity comes from. That's why I what I do. So that's that. Okay, so that's that part of the stuff. Let me talk about uh, who inspires me and such. Okay, so uh, as a writer, I am actually, I've been inspired by a lot of, uh, of course, a lot of the classics, um, like Ga The Great Gatsby, um, The Scarlet Letter, um, The Crucible, it's kind of sound kind of, but anyways, <laughs> um, uh, you know, The Grapes of Wrath, um, You Still Eden. Yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, it's funny. I'm a romance author, writer, but I do tend to like um, very interesting novels. Anyways, so anyways, I, but I, like I said, I like a lot of the classics. I like a lot of the other, you know, like short stories as well. I like Shakespeare. I like, um, you know, so I like his poetry. I like Edgar Allan, Allan Poe's poetry. Um, I like, um... Um, some of the classic shorts like Metamorphosis or, um, uh, oh geez, I can't think of the name of the thing right now. Anyways, a lot of it, um, and a lot of that love came from actually, um, as I was in school, I took a lot of creative writing, a lot of English classes, I should say, you know, basically, um, I didn't actually get my degree in English, but, um, in humanities, actually, so in, in humanities, you know, I, Good God, it's one of those days, okay? So anyways, uh, I uh, did 
a lot of classes and you want to be, you, you know, you take a lot of English, a lot of philosophy, a lot of um, speech, uh, anthropology, different classes like that, and you're taking, you're doing that kind of degree, so, um, yeah, so a lot of writing classes, a lot of English that did um, tend to go into a lot of human behavior, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of the classics. And so, you know, I had this wonderful book that had like a whole bunch of classics in it. And it was funny, you know, when you're in school, a lot of times, I, I, was, I wish I could get across to people how important education is and how great it is. It's a gift for you to learn, you know, you, you get to um, learn stories that other people know and you get to share it with them and and you can just, you know, well, just enjoy stuff like that. But, you know, I was the kind of kid that, you know, I understood. I loved education and and just to get those stories and be able to read them. And, you know, it's funny, a lot of the people in the class that, uh, with me, a lot of them were like, oh, I'm just going to get the Cliff's notes, you know, because I'm not going to read these stories and whatever. But uh, I did get Cliff's notes and I think there's, I forget what the other ones are called, but I got another one because I wanted to read the, the notes in the Cliff notes that talked about, you know, some of the author's perspectives when they were writing it because that was why I wanted the notes because, you know, I'd read it and what were they thinking during this part of the chapter, you know, when they wrote this passage exactly, what was on their mind, you know, I wanted to know. But of course, again, I'm a writer, so of course, <laughs> that was so interesting to me. I, I wanted to know, how did they formulate this? What, did I actually, when I was reading it, get what they were talking about properly? I mean, it was, you know, was this what they were trying to bring across? You know, look at some of their imagery um, in, in their writing and and you know because it could be something like oh it's just a great party and whatever but then it meant something else when you're reading it and and it's like did i get it did i understand it so i was the kid that got the cliff notes for and the different study uh notes that um actually you know for the behind the scenes kind of thing it that's the stuff um that inspired me and I loved and so a lot of those things a lot of those especially those those little um, behind the scene note things um, basically kind of are, are things that I use as tools to actually really develop some of my stories you know I, I want to know um, you know how did I uh, develop this whole family here and there uh, okay this is how I'm gonna do it now literally uh, write a piece of the story and then I will do like a, the notes kind of the author notes kind of things just so I can build it up uh, make sure that I'm getting across what I want people to get um, uh, things like that you know and so that's what expired inspired me you know so it's not just oh I've read romance novels or that you know sometimes people think that when you write in the genre of romance that you know it's not really that serious you know it's just you just really what just writing about this guy and this girl hooking up or whatever whoever hooking up and you know seriously that's not real literature well that's not how I approach it it is real literature and let's just be honest most people in their life want to find love so I feel like that's like a very pure honest uh type of literature because it, it a lot of times it does affect a lot of people you know so why not you know write a book and yeah no maybe i'm not you know ernest hemingway or you know or uh or you know uh fitzgerald or anything but uh i do like you know their stuff and it did inspire me to actually formulate my stuff so I, I i don't think i'm a typical romance writer but you know romance does have a formula i mean it's gonna be a person person they meet they get together and then they fall in love and then they have their issues and then they realize they're better together than apart and they get together and or maybe they don't and they realize that that's the end of their relationship, just depending if it's happily ever after or it was good while it lasts. You know, I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> I 
don't think that's what it's called. The Happily Ever After, the H-E-A, yes. But the, well, it was good while it lasts. I don't think that's what they call it in the genre, but I don't care. That's what I'm calling it. It was good while it lasted kind of thing. Anyways, so, but yeah, so um, I know I have been asked that a lot about, oh, how do you formulate that? And oh, is it really that serious writing romance? I mean, it probably doesn't take that long. And um, no, uh, for me, it, romance is very, it's a very serious genre for me. But of course, then again, I also like to uh, dabble in other stuff too. So, you know, I mean, I'm not really a poetry writer. Uh, yeah, I, I try, but you know, my, 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 but I will, to, for my defense, I do actually, uh, I have written songs before and you know they've they've been good so I can write a song but not a sonnet so anyways I mean I can but <laughs> is it good no. but however you know of course you know I talked about Lexi Miles but of course you know her poetry is fantastic and I love it and I, I, I admire her and people who could write poetry um, a lot you know but again, I love uh, the classics and they inspire me to write and so that is a major place where I get my inspiration from as, and where uh, and how I actually, you know, uh, develop my uh, method of writing by looking at all that and so, you know, I've already gone over it. I'm not going to recap it again. So anyways, but yeah, that's, that's how I do it. So. Their tackies. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna make this right up, this uh, part of the right attack too long. Um, like I said, um, I wanted to just basically kind of go into the inspiration, tell you a little bit about things I liked. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have any more questions for me? You want me to answer again another piece of a writer's tag? Just let me know. Um, I will gladly record it for you guys um, and answer your questions. Uh, and I know I was asked to any more new books. I've kind of done a couple of videos where I've told you guys, yeah, I am uh, gonna be releasing some new videos, uh, not new videos, well, new videos, yeah. Uh, right now I release one a week, but uh, I might increase it to two a week, just depending on um, how I feel. And you know, right now I do have a little more free time, so I might start upping it to two a week. Anyways, but as far as the work I was actually speaking about was the novels. I am actually working on novels and I probably already released a video where I told you that I actually have some surprises for you that um, I was only going to be working on five but I actually, um, the other day I was evaluating um, all my outlines and my notes and everything and I actually found that I actually, I am so excited have a few more books that I'm going to be releasing for you guys and there was um, some that I had started, uh, started to promise you guys that I was going to do uh, a while back that I actually had started working on them so you know it's just that you know unfortunately life happened you know you know with the sick relatives the sick, you know my mom and um and stuff and so I had to unfortunately put that stuff on hold but now I can go back to doing all that stuff and I, I it was really cool the other day to, to literally look and see how much work I had actually already accomplished and had done so I was at a state uh, a step I should say um, a lot further ahead than I thought so there will be a lot more work coming out for you guys so I'm really excited there will be a lot of books I'm hoping that maybe by the end of this year um, there should be another cookbook you know so food party two maybe even food party um, it's not gonna be food party three but it, it, we're all uh, Lexi and I are thinking about doing you know like some special things like especially with the holidays coming up like you know um, special desserts or uh, you know like cookies and things like that especially you know since you know we used to cook cookies for our mom so it might be in honor of, of her uh, well, who knows? We'll see. We'll see if it, you know, like that. You know, a lot of the cooking we learned and did, we did with her. So, too. So, that's gonna, um, 
be a part of that. But anyways, so yes, cookbook maybe two. Um, but for sure, um, I am planning to have a novel out. Uh, I believe the one that I will have out will be a collection of shorts. But it's a huge collection of shorts, so it's gonna probably be like the longest novel I've uh, probably put out. Because normally mine are like, you know, a hundred and something pages, but this one might be a little longer. You know, before I've completely written, written, written the stories, I've already, already passed my, um, my, uh, not my, not my word count, but my, uh, you know, my page length already. So, I'm really excited about that coming out, and I've already started, uh, the stories, so I'm already writing. So, ah, you guys, I'm really excited. So, you guys are gonna get that, and then also, to um, I, uh, am gonna, uh, you probably will be looking at the Gate Sister, uh, you know, Donna's Gate, um, the Gate Sister series, finally, you know, Daphne 2, uh, Georgina and uh, Harmony, those are, are gonna probably be coming probably in the beginning of next year or, or like towards be in the first months of next year. You're probably looking at those, and then um, even though they're you know like holiday books, but that's okay, who cares? You know, you still you bring the holidays over, you know, into the new year, why not, right? You know, I, I tend to want to so. <laughs> You know, because the holidays are my favorite time of year. I love Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween. I totally just went backwards, but that's okay. You know, I love those times of year. So, you know, why not go into January, February, and March, right? You know? Uh, so, you know. And I, but, oh, I actually also found a story I had written and it's completed. So, I'm going to do the final edits on that one. And uh, have the final edits go, you know, through the company, you know, through the publishing house, and um, you know, get it to them. And uh, I believe it's going to be added to my uh, free book that I have. Well, if you are on Kindle Unlimited, then it's free to you, or else it's 99 cents. I am going to add the story at the end. Um, I'm probably going to update the cover for the fantasy. So it's going to be with the story, the fantasy, and to forever. And I believe it's called Destined to. Oh, jeez. Destined to. I don't remember what it's called. It's called Destined to something, okay? That's what I can tell you. And maybe I'm just trying to be secretive and, and sneaky. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> anyways. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you guys are gonna like that story. Like I said, I found it, it's completed, it's done. It's ready for you guys. I just, you know, like I said, things happen. I just didn't get a chance to, you know, have it released. So it will be released for you guys. So I definitely know that story will be out, um, most likely by October, probably September, you know, it'll probably be earlier, but definitely by October it'll be there. And it probably will be the book that I most likely will feature in the next author book toss. So if you haven't seen the book toss that I did uh, for July, uh, August, you guys should go over. I, it's actually a video that's on the YouTube. You should uh, go look at it and maybe I'll connect the, you know, put the actual video uh, link in the description below so you guys can go and um, watch it, you know, and that one I actually have Savory Aphrodisiac, which of course I hope you guys have read it. If not, pick it up and read it. It's a really good book. Um, a lot of my books I have, um, you know, uh, done a lot of updates to my, my uh, website, and so um, when you're doing updates, the one thing you realize, uh, the, the company actually decided that it was time to update uh, a lot of the covers, so a lot of the covers have gotten a new face, so enjoy that. Um, uh, yep. So anyways, if you want to know anything about what's going on with Chloe Quinn, you know, my new releases, uh, I will have the actual release schedule and the actual books that are coming out. It will be on my press page, which is on my website, which is Chloe. So, Chloe, let me see. Chloe, 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 author, 
Anyways, koequinauthor.com slash press. That's my press page. Is this press? I think it's press page, actually. So, okay. If not, you know what? If you want to hook to it, just go to my website. And at the top, they have a little, it has a navigation bar, and it has a thing that says, uh, I believe it's under the about the author. You click it, and it comes down, and it says press. I believe. So you click on there, and then it'll show you all the updated things. Okay? So the author doesn't know. Okay. Anyway, it's a good thing she has a website. Yeah, this is what I'm saying about me. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, but that's that's pretty much it. I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any more questions, I would love to do another author tag for you guys uh, to answer any questions you guys have, anything you're interested or curious of, you know, whatever your questions are. I would love to do them. And so, anyways, uh... Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys all the time. Um, I love the support. Thank you so much. Um, if you could like the video, share the video, and touch, that'd be awesome. And I will talk to you guys next time. And take care of yourselves. Be safe. Um, and wear a mask. And gloves if you can. Stay in the house. And, uh, hopefully we'll all just, you know, we're all here together in this, and we'll, hopefully we'll get through this and be able to return to life, like, well, normal-ish, <laughs> soon. Anyways, take care of yourselves, and I love y'all. 